The day when Sir Jim Ratcliffe formally takes control of football matters at Old Trafford, it's inching closer. After the Premier League ratified the deal and the news broke yesterday, in a live podcast, we announced that the formal FA approval is pending, which leads that Sir Jim Ratcliffe needs this approval so he can get to work in the official capacity. Now, what the fan really, really wants is to understand where do we go from here? Nobody has ever communicated to the plan to the fans what is the plan. Outlets now reporting that Ineos chief is planning to hold a press conference at the club after the whole process has been completed. Now, in this clip, we will see the genuine fan reaction from our community, but we also want to know your opinion. What is your feeling? What is your general reaction? Is this good enough or do you abstain? This has been Mick Ruby here from MUFC Redis TV. Please enjoy this clip. Listen, we have a caller coming in here, our brother from another mother from another channel. He used to be football economics. We're talking about Bilal Yogi. How are you doing, Bilal? Hi, guys. How are you doing? I'm not Good too evening. shabby. Confused. Confused.com. <laughs> How about you? Yeah, not bad. Thank you. Not bad. Nice to meet you, everyone. And uh, yeah, a lot of news breaking all the time, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I would almost say breaking with farts. Like, you know, from yesterday, uh, we saw from yeah. Ben Jacobs, <laughs> you know, not today, not tomorrow, uh, extension. Um, we saw Mike Keegan saying the same thing probably within two weeks. And all of a sudden today, boom, Premier League comes up with a statement that they have approved since Monday. What's your take on it, Bilal? Like, you know, do you feel, feel it's a little bit of a dodgy business going on here? Do, the do brown you know, paper envelope. <laughs> I think we're all Manchester United fans. And as you know, it's one of the most um, scrutinized um, clubs out there, especially when it comes to news being put out there constantly. Um, I think... Our good friend Mick yesterday, Paul, um, kind of found the SEC listing, and oh, he he kind did. of he broke it first. Yeah, and he's not, he's just a normal guy like us, and he managed to find the SEC listing, which said um, that the Premier League had approved it. The problem with this whole process is, is that the journalists that have been reporting this constantly have reported it like a transfer, and they've not been yeah. very well sourced. Hence, why they're putting out a very broad deadlines like Mike Keegan, I think it was Mike Keegan that said it, it, it won't be this week, it might be next week, or it might be the week after. <laughs> it was very, very broad and it's not very well sourced. It, from what I've read and what I've seen of it, um, it looks like it'll, it'll be done by Friday. Um, I can't see it being stopped now, really. And like I've said to you for months, Mick, on my own show, that this was going to go through no matter what. Um, it just, I couldn't see it being stopped. And it's just a shame that it divides the it it divides the fan base so much with the with the with the way it's reported and people put out opinions. But the the bit to answer the question simply, the a lot of the football journalists are not very well informed on this, and if they just spend a bit of time trying to source it properly, they'll actually understand the process. Yeah, yeah. it's a it's a cracking point that because the last year or so, eighteen yeah. months, they've been just spinning pure BS. <laughs> just, just, just to try and get the flip on one another and look at me I, I've got an exclusive I've got an exclusive no you haven't I have so it, it, yeah. it and the, the thing is with it because it's a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a purchase of a company and the structure is so a lot of most people are not informed on how it actually works what's trigger point one trigger point two what happens here how long does the filing take and because it's Manchester United and somebody needs to put on news all the time, it's just very well, it's not very well informed and it's not very well put out. In a way, yes. Uh, just take a memory lane as a fan, go back in your memory bank and remember, you know, um, not this week, next week, Monday, the next year, <laughs> XYZ. They was treating this who's leading the race. It's like it was a Formula One race. At, this, at All of a sudden, dead out of the water, sensational words. And as a fan, like, you just kind of felt a little bit like, you know, like an angry enemy, like this. Uh, 
and honest to God, a little bit of a humor, but I, I felt bonkers at the end of the day, like confused, like, you know, you've been spun more than Anthony Dos Santos on a, on a, on a ball. You know what I mean? <laughs> the spinster. Yeah, but Mick, we're living in a day and age, I know, and Andy can relate to this as well, where we're from a time where football was different. We consumed it differently. Now, like this news that's just come out with Radcliffe, in the last hour or two. It's already old news. People want the next bit now. Who's the director of football? Who's the technical director? Once that's in, that's all news, right? Who's the first signing? Yeah, yeah, when yeah. The stadium, it's just constant. And people want, right, we've got our quick fix. What's the next one? We got our information on a Friday or a Thursday before a game. Yeah. It was, it was nothing there every day. You have, a, if, you have your Thursday or Friday information and on a Saturday as well. That was it. Now it's constant every minute, every, day, every, every second of every yeah. day. And it's like, well, do you mind, do you mind not hanging back? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, Everything's you know, over scrutinized. You know, this guy's got this injury. He's out. He's in. It's just constant. It's this is constant. why I don't even bother what I say. I don't even watch Sky anymore because it's in your face every second of every day. And I just, you know what? I'll switch on. I'll have, I'll have 10, 15 minutes in the morning watching the various channels to get some information and I switch off for the rest of the day and go out on my own day. I'm getting Google updates every five minutes on my phone. I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah, no. It's, but it's, it's kind of a, stupid. But you know what? This has cr created this behavior of, of normal human beings that constantly getting notifications. Even I, constantly checking one football app, constantly checking Twitter, constant, constant. And it's like, my wife is looking at me because she's not such a social media guy. It's like, who are you? <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I've become. And now we're going to wear these uh, VR glasses as well. Apple Vision. Oh, I'm, I'm waiting for the like new that. Man United pie deal to get announced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Man United with Holland's pies exclusive. You know what I mean? Get your hot real. pies at Old Trafford next season. You know what I mean? The Old but Trafford special with extra so muck sauce. So... <laughs> I think, I think, yeah, you know, Andy's right there. You know, uh, old school deals that I keep it real. You know, I think it's, it's to keep it. I think it's at the end. It's more or less a few days away now. It, really, they weren't going to give him the. He's already um, his him and his team are already in there. They're doing things. They weren't going to do that if they weren't pretty sure it's going to happen. Um, I can't see it being stopped now. And I think it it it, it is what it is. Hmm. Well, all I wanted to do, to be honest to God, guys, as a fan, um, sitting right here, I I'm almost quoting this pretty woman. I'm just a girl in front of a man begging you to love me. <laughs> you remember this quote? So all I wanted to do as a fan from right here right now is, is get back to the winning ways. You know, I want Manchester United to win trophies, 100%, right? That's all I care about. Am I happy that Glazers are still in the background? Hell no, you know? Until they're gone... I want to rest, but I want us to sort of at least compete for the rest of the season. Come summer, understand really, really what this, what they're offering, you know, in titles. Because once they get the formal approvals, they will. I would do expect, like you know, for them to come out to speak to the normal fans like us. You know, here's a vision, here's a plan. No, you reckon no, they won't? Not. No, it'll be all cloak and daggers and watered down. It'll be so watered down, it will be water. So, you know what I mean? It's like when you water down, you ask for a beer, it'll be so watered down, it will taste bitter. Yeah. <laughs> Big up, uh, people. I can read your chat manually. I cannot. The chat's not coming in here in StreamYard for some reason, so we cannot display. If you do donate a super chat or whatever you call membership i cannot display you so guys i do apologize i see angie's here or one of our moderators big up angie please take care of the chat for us help us there are 61 likes at the moment please get this up to 100 likes please i did create a poll by the way uh, before we started the stream and the poll was as a fan do you accept this deal i want to hear from andy first i'm not i've, I've stated my claim if it's okay for the other half of Manchester, why wasn't it okay for us? You know what I mean? So mm. uh, that's where I stand on it. Oh, if if you want your shiny new toys, you want your brand new this, that, or the other. I want everything in the. I want all the action figures I can get. You know what I mean? I want a guitar, and that's what I wanted. But um, we've got we've got we've got this within us now. One there, uh, it's like, oh, you want that? No, you can't have it. 
Do you mm. want this? No, you can't have it. You've got to work for it and earn it. So if it's True. okay for one, why ain't it okay for us? No, I it... also want a Qatar. I cannot like I want a Qatar for the for the simple reason why what they offered, like you know, debt free, brand new stadium or whatever, refurbish, invest in the women's team, new training ground, the latest and greatest, XYZ. And here we are with 25, 30%. And we got to raise funds even to build Old Trafford or the new Old Trafford or whatever. So mm -hmm. go back to you, Bilal. Um, are you happy with this if this false comes true? I was I was like you guys as well. I was I was all for Qatar. I thought it was a great opportunity, you know, to move forward. I think the way this current deal is, if it stays as it is, I'm not for it at 25 or 29 percent. I think if over the next 18 months, if he can get to a point of major ownership and to a point of buying out the rest of them or even taking them to a minority, I'm all for that. But in its current form, if it stays at 29%, which it will be by the end of the year, I'm not for it to stay at 29%. I think the, 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 the Glazers need to go. I'm going to look at the poll. There's 66 votes so far. And the VR roomsters in here has voted 50%. It's 50-50, to be honest, right now. I'm not closing the poll as of yet, but right now it's 50-50. Yes, it's 50, but I want to know more, which is the right answer, I think. Like, you know, I'm kind of half sold in, but I want to know more. What is your vision? What is your plan? What's what's the direction? You know, what about the debt? What about X, Y, Z? What about the it training ground? Mick, it can't get any worse than what it is, right? I, I, no, as fans, I it cannot, if he fucking can't get any worse than what it was, right? We've got to fit it if he comes out, he communicates clearly, makes the right appointments, makes the right type of signings. It's the fucking right move, isn't it? Into the right direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It At is least the we're fucking starting right. somewhere, right? If he goes the way of the Glazers, does not communicate, just done a few little bits because I'm coming in, then hides in the shadows, always, always in the shadows, never coming out, only coming out when it suits them, then it's going to be the same. Like you say, yep. but yeah, this is like you say. I don't think he will do that because I know I would say the club are aware they have a PR disaster for the last 10 years. They are, like you say, it's been cloak and mirrors and it's like, it's been smoking daggers. Uh, what smoking do you call it? daggers. Smoking. There's the villages burning, but with the pitchforks and the flames, what it's to burn the place down and absolutely tear them apart. And that's what it's been like the last 10 years. Yeah. No, I, I hear what you're saying, Bilal. And, and I totally agree. There's something, if you open the cabin right now, there's something to eat. There's something to see. Before you open the the, the the cabin, there was nothing. There was scrumps, right? And I agree. And I, I fucking applaud that, to be honest, right? And yeah, I mean, I go to the poll right now um, to see what you guys are saying. 51% says no, Glazer needs to go, right? And 49% say, yeah, I want to know more. I'm in the camp to say that I want to fucking know more, right? I can accept what you're saying. Like, you know, so far it's been like snippets from the media. What's going on with the, you know, are we going to build a new training ground? Uh, are we going to build the latest and greatest stadium? Where is this money coming from? Who's going to invest in that? You know what I mean? It's going to be sponsorship. If you look at, if you look at the SEC filing from yesterday, I don't know whether you guys have seen it. He's I haven't four, seen it. He's got 4 billion liquid cash in the bank. I know. I That's saw that. Liquid cash. Like, I read that. You could write a check right now for 4 billion and it'll cash. That's so his that, personal then, funding. Yeah, that's his personal fucking funding. That's a fucking lot of money to have. You know, it is. I was, I was reading on uh, one of the guys on Twitter was saying normally somebody of that kind of wealth will have about 200 to 300 mil liquid cash. Four billion liquid cash is what he's holding on to. Then that doesn't take into account what Ineos have and what Trawlers have and what his other companies have. I yeah, think but, yeah, again, hold that thought. Listen, this is a debate. Liquid cash, it's what you hold in stocks, gold. It's not really what you have in your bank account, is it? Or No, it is. It's what he's got in the bank. It's four it's because you have to disclose it. Four billion in which bank account? Yeah, he's got four billion. It's on the SEC. Oh, in a Swiss one? Is it in a Swiss one? <laughs> I don't know. It's a Swiss. Oh, sure, in the Cayman Islands. The reason, you know I mean? the reason it got extended on the on the on the, in the US was because the shareholders asked to for, for how much wealth Proof he had, and he had yeah. to disclose how much he had in the bank. Oh shit! Nowhere to hide. Where's your bank? Yeah, account? yeah, and that's I him. Bet it was a few jar dropping there. 
guys. But why, why, then, then, then stop that. Then. Why? So, was this more of a saving liquid cash for him to go in on twenty five percent? Because we originally saw sixty nine percent. I think Mick, what it was, it, it, just to kind of keep this simple, is the, the the constitution of Manchester United as a PLC. The way it's made up is very technical. So hence why when he proposed this at 51 or whatever it was, he thought he could only buy the Glazers out and not really worry about the shareholders. When they went to legally and there was a big, I think from the summer transfer window right until September, it was really quiet. They were trying to figure out how to do this deal without it being held up legally. So what they've done is he's had to pay the same amount to the shareholders as he's paying the Glazers, even though the shareholders... Uh, shares are worth less but what he's managed to do in that period is, is is change the constitution so with that now i'm pretty sure he can now buy up more shares without having to buy up buy more glazer shares without having to worry about the shareholders on the stock market but if i ask you a continuous question on that why do you think he went in with trawlers instead of ineos and why is media using ineos in the headlines because it's actually not mm. ineos it's not no I, I, I personally think it's because in your uh, as a company have investors, it would be hard to justify where the money was going and why it was going into a club like Manchester United. I think what they will do is he'll bring, let's say he, he's going to own about 29% by the end of the year. That's what it works out to be. There's no reason why Ineos as a company cannot buy the next 20% or loan him. The, I think it's been but done. From a legal framework point of view. Yes, from a legal perspective and from a practical operational uh, perspective, what we touched based earlier to say that Ineos is the uh, legal uh, custodian of Nice. And uh, Nice and Manchester United, if they both get Champions League, there's a conflict of interest there, right? At so, the moment there is, yeah. At the moment it is, yes. Um, so what about, what share price did they actually buy it? Has it been disclosed? I is it 33 bucks? 33 or 34? Okay. Somewhere around okay. there, yeah. Okay. So, for, to continue to buy out the Class B shares, that means that he has, what do you mean, 33 bucks per share? Or minimum. will it go up? Minimum. Minimum. Uh, it, it, in the agreement, let's say if United got relegated this season, right, and the Glazers want to sell, he, ha he, he still has to pay a minimum of $33. So, the Glazers are win-win here. If United go up in value... It, it, it'll go to whatever, but from from what when I looked at a business uh, research piece on this, if everything stays the same and they slowly progress, they'll end up selling at thirty four, thirty five dollars a share. Yeah, Round that's what I wanted to ask. That's that's what that's the answer I was looking for. So it means within let's say two three years, he can gradually buy out uh, Class B shares for thirty three bucks per share. Minimum, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So right. if you, I forgot, I forgot, I think she, I forgot the, their sister's name, who's one of the high shareholders, the Glazers. Darcy. Darcy, if she wants to sell, she can sell to him direct. He's got first refusal as well. So for example, mm -hmm. if Sheikh Jassim came next year and said, I want to buy 100% of the club, Jim Radcliffe's in a, in, a, in a winning situation because firstly, he's got first refusal. First Second, refusal, he yeah. doesn't need to buy 100% of the club. He only needs to buy 70% of the club because he already owns 30% of it. So what's the what's the full path to ownership is what I'm trying to get here is that gradually you will buy um let's say this is the first installment let's say I I buy I give you 1.3 1.4 and I get 25% right on trawlers limited but then I have a clause in the contract to say first refusal on 33 bucks per share so from a business perspective within 3 years he can continue invest in buying Shares, there's a right? thing, yeah. The, in the last podcast, I mentioned there's a thing called debt to equity as well. Just to keep it really simple, let's say he 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 pays for a new stadium, right? A lot of people will say, "Well, why the fuck is he going to pay for a stadium? He doesn't own the club, right?" Let's say the new stadium costs two billion. He could do a debt to equity where that two billion that he pays for the stadium can convert into shares and ownership. Or there's a balloon payment coming up next year of 150 million that United need to pay back on loans. If he pays that 150 million, he it converts to shares of B fair shares. Play. Fair play. Yeah, you know it's fair play. I, I do understand. It's making a little. Uh, bit look, clear. the proof. Look, I'm not a support. I'm just saying the proof's gonna be in the pudding, right? At the moment, yeah. we don't know. The proof will be in the pudding 
you know, fucking, it looks great at the moment that he's got, anything could happen, you know, he could fucking buy it out in a year, he could never buy it out and just stay, keep What's it as it is. What's the last point where he has to, if he can control, is it 51%? Yeah, 51%. He's at 30. He'll be at 29. He only needs another 20%. So if, um, he, if Darcy sells, he'll go past 29 or he'll get that. No, he'll if Darcy sells, he'll go up to about like 40, 45. So it means that he can actually lobby Darcy. He can lobby anyone of the, uh, you know, um, yeah. Blazer family to say, I want to buy your shares, right? I covered this on my own podcast for a year and I did a show on this a week. And my mm -hmm. honest opinion is, Four of them will sell and two will stay. The two, Avram and I forgot his brother's we name. Know. Joel. Joel will stay in some sort of capacity, whether that's minority, they just have a share, they just turn up now and then. The others will sell out. I think that's what will happen. And I think what they were banking on was that the value will go up. And that's what they are banking on. Yeah, the, yeah. Last two, the last two remaining gimps are waiting the, on this yeah. mega deal where it, regarding that... The, the Champions League or TV revenue that's coming in 2026. That's right. The yeah. Champions League or revenue. The World Cup as well, as well yeah. on the horizon. That's what they're hanging around for. No, the yeah, Super but, League but, is kind of dead. I, I would say that the new format of Champions League, you know, playing in like one pot of. Uh, you know, 30, 34, 36 teams in one one league. Oh, Andy, and... just just to come to Andy's point, the thing is, Andy, what you got to keep in mind is oh, yeah. they've got balloon payments coming up, so they need to pay like three hundred million in the next 24 months back to the banks. They have to make that payment. They do have so to, yeah. 300 million they don't have. Somebody's going to have to pay it, which will be him. It'll convert he will again. I think um, he's... He, he, I, I, I'll send it to Andy on Twitter. There's a, Someone's done a breakdown of the clauses in there and how he can trigger the clause. It's very technical. It's very in-depth on how we can get to 51%. It works in favour of both of them. So it works in favour of the Glazer family that they can walk out with a little bit more money. And there's an option for Jim Ratcliffe to become a major shareholder. The reason Ratcliffe could not say legally that, guys, by 2025, I'm going to be the majority owner is because it's a PLC. And that will then yeah. cause 100%. the market to yeah. the the said they're manipulating. He, privately, he knows he's going to get control eventually. No, yeah, anyway... I, it's the way the language has been written. Yeah. No, no, Bilal, what you're saying here is because you can't do stock ma ma manipulation because yeah, the stock market reacts on information. If he goes out to say with statement, within 2025, I'll be the majority sh shareholder of Manchester United PLC, and boom, the share prices go up to 30 all of a sudden, right? Yeah, absolutely. These guys that have got shares, they were worth like fucking $11 about a year ago. They, they, they're cashing out at $33. Hmm. So if he says in 2025 I'm gonna buy out another 30 percent of the club, and as Lee and all the shareholders then say, right, we want a piece of the action, people will start buying up shares, thinking, fucking hell, the 20 dollars right now in a year they're gonna be worth 38 dollars. I'm interested so to understand tell that it's called fucking insider trading. But what I mean is, if me, you, and Andy bought shares right now at 20 dollars, right, and in a year we know we're gonna cash out at 38 dollars, 34 dollars guaranteed. That's a profit. So, so it's gonna. That's why he publicly cannot say, "I'm gonna be buying the club in a year's time." Righty. Yeah. Insider trading. He can't say that. I but know, if you look I at know. the language, for he's got first refusal. There's a minimum price set that he can buy at. Debt to equity. It points in one direction. But what I'm overall saying is, the fucking proof will be in the pudding. 